our harvest started with our volunteer wheat experiment which grew after overwinter cover crops died back as a result of frost kill. The yield was nothing to crow about at two and a half tonnes a hectare but other than a T2 fungicide we spent nothing on this crop. A quick reminder the reason behind taking this crop to yield was that it was a particularly wet spring which meant drilling was potentially going to be very late and this presented us with an opportunity to test the gross margin and yield against low input spring wheat planted in the remainder of the field. The patchy volunteers meant that taking that side of the crop through to harvest was not viable. So more to report on that later. Evening everybody, it's Friday night. Uh, we had a brief nibble uh, earlier in the week and tonight we are out uh, combining conventional winter wheat. We are putting it into rows. We've had an approach from a cattle farmer who's just desperate for the straw. So uh, we're doing our bit for the wider ag community. I'm, I'm amazed by this. Um, it is does follow that marvellous crop of beans last year. Maybe uh, that's the crops benefited from that. But interestingly, definitely seeing even in the previous field, which was, had much more black grass than this, quite bad black grass, but it still, still yielded really well, uh, considering. So, uh, and most of the black grass was growing in water damage, where the, we didn't have any crop competition. We are, uh, as you can see, our spot rate is which is amazing for this field. Um, it's pretty heavy. It's heavy land. We're in a nice bit now, um, but this was the field that I videoed last week with the big patch of uh, thistles at the far end. And, um, well, sorry I didn't get it in the daylight, but um, you'll see. But um, it's a fairly big crop. And as you can see, spot rate peaked at 11 tonnes a hectare, but the average for the field, including the water damage, was 9.8 tonnes a hectare. Saturday morning, afternoon, and we're on some light land. This was the land that got uh, treated with the digestate. And um, interestingly, the headlands weren't too good, obviously suffering from the compaction, but it's sitting around the late eights, early nines, so that's much better. So my next door neighbour will be about, is about to take over from me, but uh, we've had a good run this morning. It's all coming in sort of around between 15 and 16 percent. We haven't really had a very bright day, but at least we're making progress. So it's probably worth explaining our system with our neighbours. So we only have a, a few fields that are conventional and far away from the buildings. That double combination means that we need uh, an extra grain cart. So this combine's got a 10, roughly 10 ton tank and our K2 push trailers at 20 ton, it's got 20 ton capacity. So that we can basically run most of our fields on just one guy on the corn cart uh, with that trailer. However, on these longer hauls, uh, it's not possible. So, so um, my neighbor shares, um, he comes and drives the combine and he also brings a um, his tra tractor and trailer driver. And he also has some distant, long distance fields, so for those ones I contribute, my uh, Jack goes and, and helps them out. So we help each other out for the longer distance 
combine drives and it dramatically helps. It means that I don't need an extra permanent member of staff on at harvest so we can just pretty much do with Jack and myself. So uh, that's the strategy and uh, looking forward to him taking over uh, so that I can uh, look after the grain store. Thanks to the efforts of Ed and the grain cart crew of Jack and Sam, we managed to finish the block of x on light land in two and a half days. Overall, the yields were disappointing at 10 tonnes a hectare, but at least we got it in drier than average 14.9% moisture. Unfortunately, despite extra nitrogen at flowering, all but the worst yielding field failed to hit milling protein, and there was also some ergot, which although common in spring wheat, is unusual for winter wheats. Thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and click on the little bell to get notifications of when our next video goes live. See you next time. Bye.